I basically want to do is try to get another tutorial out the way. No, no one asked for this tutorial, but it goes along the lines of the button action scripting thing, so I guess it's kind of a, like a sequel-ish kind of thing. Basically what I'm going to tell you now is how to make your buttons <clears throat> take you to certain points in your flash that um, have the frame label. So I'm going to go ahead and open a new document. And I'm just going to make a simple shape like uh, a rectangle. That's pretty simple enough. Turn that into a button. I'm doing this all with the... Uh, touchpad so of course I'm moving kind of slow and now we're gonna set it in a certain location name this layer button you know just so you can distinguish it from the other things so make a new layer call it Bob or something I don't know why but I'm obsessed with the word Bob there you go, there's Bob. Make another layer, name it labels. Doesn't matter which way they're arranged because nothing is gonna t appear on top of anything, I'm sorry. Highlight frame number 100 and press F5. Now what you're gonna do, choose random spots on your timeline and go ahead and press F6 to add new keyframes that's what it does now on this on your first one call it Bob one or yeah just call it Bob on this one oh crap I just realized I did something wrong okay actually I didn't do anything wrong because the button's action script will have to change. Alright, call this one Bob2. And what you're going to do is, on this certain layer, put a 2 next to Bob so you can distinguish. And not Bob2T. Then we're going to call this one Bob3. And then, just put in a 3. So, that's basically the layout. Now what we have to do is start action scripting. So, on each frame, or, or ugh, keyframe rather, type in stop, open parentheses, close parentheses. You can copy that and paste it in the other frames. That basically tells the movie not to play past your buttons. Now, for your buttons. For the first one, type in on release, go to and play, make sure and play is capitalized, well not all of it, just the first letter, and then put Bob 2 in parentheses. Don't forget the quotes, that's extremely important, and the close brackets because they'll bitch about that. For the second keyframe, type in on release. Okay, go to and play Bob 3. Yep, and for the final one, on release, go to and play Bob 1. Or just Bob. I'm sorry. I forgot I didn't put a number next to Bob. Now, I've noticed that I've done something wrong. That basically is, I put a button action script on a frame. Let's cut that. Make sure the thing says button right there if you have Flash DS3 or whatever. Because it'll bitch you about that. It will say something about you not being able to put a button action script onto a frame. Okay, so that's done. Now if I open or er, test the movie, aka the sucker, 
click the button, it goes to Bob 2, and if you click the button, it goes to Bob 3, and if you click the button again, it goes back to Bob. <sighs> I know, how are you starting? But, this is commonly used when people make Flash websites, such as the ones we're currently working on now, the Test Drive Studios website, and the Twisted Fates official site. And, the reason frame labels are used is because, in most cases, if you want to move a certain section, like that, and when you go to test the movie, it'll jump to the frame label instead of the frame button, because we put labels on the frames and we told the buttons to go to that frame that's labeled that certain thing. Just make sure everything's arranged. Um, so that's basically my super long tutorial about button coding for labeling your frames and whatnot. I know I just said that completely wrong. But, um, have a nice evening and all. This thing has an evaluation. I only got 28 days left, meaning after 28 days, I'll go back to Cam Studio and everything will start skipping again. Oh, fun. Toodaloo!